multiculturalism and the rapid growth of technology has led to the melting pot of society we have always dreamed of. Tolerance and acceptance is the motto as we expand our horizons to encompass new ways of life each passing day. With that being said, as the world becomes more connected, we are introduced to perspectives we find hard to understand. The influence of great thinkers and movements in the areas we grew up have greatly shaped our world views, making it hard to see the other side. Some bash Western philosophy as being too egocentric or lacking spirituality and empathy. Critics of Eastern philosophy complain about it being too vague or full of mumbo jumbo. So which one is it? Which one is objectively better? Here in the West, we value individualism, the idea of freedom and natural laws where every man has the God-given right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The negative side of that is many Westerners are viewed as selfish and narcissistic, only interested in their own personal growth. On the other side, Eastern philosophy is all about unity and being a part of a greater whole. Everything is connected. You, me, the trees, the birds, the stars and galaxies are all part of a cosmic one. The most important characteristic of the Eastern worldview, one could almost say the essence of it, is the awareness of the unity and mutual interrelation of all things and events. The experience of all phenomena in the world as manifestations of a basic oneness. All things are seen as interdependent and inseparable parts of this cosmic whole as different manifestations of the same ultimate reality. This leaves us with a warm feeling of satisfaction and comfort knowing you are a part of something greater than yourself. However, it can also lead to excessive conformity where oppression is more likely to take place as the culture pushes you to stay in line and follow the rules. Boldness without the rules of ritual conduct becomes insubordination. Conflict versus Harmony The Enlightenment movement and the Age of Reason in Western history gave immense value to logic and reasoning to distinguish between right and wrong, fact or fiction. It's what has allowed humanity to advance thus far, the birth of scientific inquiry. While the benefits for this train of thought is immense, the advent of modern medicine, the advancement of technology, and our understanding of the observable universe, the notion of proving one idea is better than another can sometimes lead to irrational behavior. Emotions tend to run high and we push ourselves to the extremes of our beliefs, i.e. liberal versus conservative, science versus spirituality. The divides create unnecessary tension and Western thought doesn't even attempt to reconcile between any seemingly opposing ideologies. In Eastern tradition, harmony is key. Take the Taoist philosophy of yin and yang, there is always a balance between opposing forces where one cannot exist without the other. When people see things as beautiful, ugliness is created. When people see things as good, evil is created. Being and non-being produce each other. Difficult and easy complement each other. Long and short define each other. High and low oppose each other. Fore and aft follow each other. All in all, each philosophy provides a mindset that is beneficial to the individual and the whole of society. While it is important each human being has individual personal rights and freedoms, we must remember that we're all in this together. In most situations, we need to harmonize opposing viewpoints and understand conflict is just a part of life. But there are plenty of occasions where empirical evidence can be used to find absolute truths. In the end, all we need is balance and the wisdom to combine both East and the West, not just culturally, but philosophically as well. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and found it insightful, and subscribe so you can keep updated with future posts similar to this. Leave your thoughts on the matter and anything I missed in the comment section below. I'm the self-made nerd, here to talk nerdy to you.